Hey guys, we are here with part one of three for the Creative Arts Collaboration hashtag event, um, which is hashtag Poggest Art. I will include the spelling of that um, hashtag in the title and description and maybe an extra text box somewhere in the video like right here <laughs> for you all. And uh, don't forget to go to the YouTube search box, put that hashtag in, and a bunch of videos are going to come up. Now, if you want to search the hashtag event for specific kinds of videos like painting or mixed media or art journaling, put the August collaboration hashtag in, then put an additional hashtag in with that kind of creative thing that you're looking for painting or art journaling or whatever it is and you'll get some specific videos that come up and I think they're going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, we are going to work on some sketching. Yes, I know. That's different for me, right? Sketching. Um, I went to uh, paint my photo and I found this cute picture of a bunny. Isn't he cute? And I printed it on my husband's printer because um, I like the way his prints on these big um, glossy prints better than mine. <laughs> Don't tell him I used his ink. <laughs> But, so we're going to work on um, an artistic rendering of this bunny. I'm going to prop it up right here so I can see it. Let's see. There we go. We're also going to use just some basic sketchbook paper. This is a pad I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. It's a Strathmore 200 series sketch pad, um, 100 sheets. It was clearanced for $239. And then this is a Koi Noor Geoconda Drawing Sketching Toning Art Set. Um, this is one that I carry around with me actually in my drawing bag and doodle bag when I feel like not working with pens and working with pencils and other stuff. Um, a set like this will serve you really well for this project um, and future projects. It has a lot of really great stuff in it. Um, a nice variety of different kinds of pencils, including a charcoal pencil, different so, um, types of um, um, hardness of regular graphite lead, aquarelle uh, pencils, some um, colored um, charcoal or pastel pencils. There's a se sepia light, sepia dark, red chalk, and a white. It's got a blending stump some different kinds of charcoal and graphite sticks as well as some colored um, pastel or charcoal sticks. Again, sepia light, sepia dark, the red and the white, and a kneaded eraser. Really the only thing it doesn't have is a pencil sharpener. So if you want to get into sketching and drawing, if you get this, a decent pencil sharpener, a pad of paper, you're ready to go. And this kit you can just, you know, carry around with you. It comes in a nice little tin. So no, it's not sponsored by the company. This video is not sponsored by the company. Um, I just happen to really like this kit. So um, that being said, um, you can get these at Michael's and you can use a 40% off coupon. Um, that's how I got mine. And we're going to get started. So for this first part of this video, part one of three, we are going to just start with a standard 2B lead. And I'm going to go get my reading glasses because I forgot them. Um, what was I going to say? So, oh, before I get my glasses. So you don't have to have this kit. You can have a two, you need, you're going to need a 2B pencil. A, um, I'm going to use a 2B, a 6B, the charcoal pencil, the blending stump, the eraser, and probably some of the colored, um, you know, charcoal or pastel pencils. Now, um, I, I know you can get some of these colored pencils like in a set um, by themselves. And then if you have a regular like 2B pencil, which is just your regular school pencil, and you've got a piece of charcoal, something to blend with and an eraser, you're probably good, okay? So you don't have to buy this kit. You can you use what you have. All right, reading glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I haven't been sleeping well, so my, tire, my eyes are tired in the morning. And it's hard for me to focus, okay. So for this first part of this video, on sketching this bunny and we're concentrating on the bunny and not on the background. We really just want to do the bunny. So, and 
he's just cute. So I'm gonna, and I, you know what? I want this to be in frame, both of these, so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna just work on sketching the shapes. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my pencil light to the paper. No digging any holes to China with your pencil. And I'm gonna start with just lightly, just sketching out his back. Lots of sketchy lines. I can see his. Little foot right here. This might be a little big. Because <laughs> if I put his head, I don't think I'm gonna get all his ears. So let's make it a little smaller. Just lots of light, sketchy lines, and that way, if you do that and you make it too big, you can, you know, the light, sketchy lines are easy to re erase. Let's put the head in. Can you hear my dog barking? Because, you know, God forbid the neighbors next door should be allowed to have do any yard work. Speaking of animals, <laughs> he's a kooky dog. Um, my eraser. Got some smudgy marks on here from some previous days drawing practice. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to put the shape of the head in. And I'm just copying the shapes that I see in the photo. Don't don't freak yourself out so much about the fact that, oh my God, I'm trying to draw a bunny. <laughs> Just copy the shapes that you see and focus more on copying those shapes than on the fact that you're trying to draw a rabbit. Okay, now see, I'm thinking, and this is what I mean. So I'm just making lots of sketchy lines. And you're going to spend some time and you're going to just keep refining your shape until you get it looking exactly the way you want. So one thing I'm noticing right away is that the back is too high. So I'm looking at the relationship of where his back hits the back of his head in relationship to the shapes I drew on my paper. That's better. So then his belly starts about here. And just keep working on refining the shapes. His head might be too big. some of the extra lines so I can get a better idea of where I'm at with regards to his shape.
and his back foot is touching his front leg. So I want to make sure as I'm doing the drawing that I'm getting that proportion in there. His tail's not showing, it's tucked up underneath him, I think, so yeah, let's try to draw those ears in. Now let's put some of the facial features in. And I'm going to start with the nose. Again, I'm not, I'm just copying the shapes that I'm seeing. Some lip action here. There's actually a little hint of a tooth showing. Just keep working at your sketch. Until you get it looking the way you want. Let's put the eye in and then see how the nose looks. So the eye, it's got a really big, beautiful eye. in the fur here, which I'm just going to hint at, maybe. That's pretty good. There's some lighter fur, like ridges around the eye. I'm going to put some of those in. There's also some little subtle details in the ear. some darker stuff here. I'm just laying the pencil on the side. And just putting in some graphite shadows where I see them on the sketch. I mean on the photo. Sorry. I knew what I meant. You guys didn't know what I meant. <laughs> There's also some. I see some of his toenails. So once you have some lines that you like, firm them up. Go over them. Adjust them. And just really work at it until you get something that you're really happy with. Once you get a shape that you like, then you can join me for the next step and we'll finish working on our bunny. Have fun with the uh, CAC hashtag event and go visit some of those other channels because they all have some great content going on right now. And when your eraser gets dirty, you just do this to it and knead it. It's like a piece of clay. That's why it's called a kneaded eraser. All right, I'll see you all in the next video in part two. All right, don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like, share, subscribe, 
And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, all of my contact information is in the description below. You can leave a content on the video. Uh, let me know what you think, please, and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.